This video is sponsored by Squarespace. From marketing tools to analytics, they are the final destination to build an epic online website and run your very own business. I think we're getting closer, Ben. <laughs> you won't believe your eyes at what's happened to this place. My local bike park where I grew up pedaling a bike and got better and better at it has changed so much for the better, but so much that I can't even understand where anything I remember was. I haven't really been here at all this year because we've been digging the playground. This was um, just woods. <laughs> I built a little quartz pipe down there when I was younger and it's just that this was honestly above where my head is It's woods all of this dirt has been quarried out and used for new jumps So can you imagine how many new jumps there are if that much dirt is missing? <laughs> this was all honestly look where those trees are. That was Crazy. just a forest line It's so sick. So we're open now well, it looks more official, but it will also be the most official it's ever been because of a dedicated trail crew. And also it's now part of the same kind of forestry commission and association as Rushmere, where I filmed my Frames of Mind video five years ago. So this is now like anchored to that level of association, which is really helpful, so good for youngsters. And it's been closed all year. Let's just get in there and have a look. You won't believe what this place looks like. First things first, <laughs> this was a pump track. It's now, the most complex, innovative, fun layout of jumps and features I've ever seen in these woods. It's so bizarrely intricate. I'm not going to talk you through all of it because I have just seen it for the first time in weeks. There's going to be so many layouts and routes that you can ride this and that's what big areas of pump tracks are all about. There's jumps, there's gap features, there's a 90 degree hip there in the corner that looks amazing. And we're just looking at that. This is amazing. It's actually open now. Woburn is open. That's the whole purpose of this video. There's been so much dedicated work and they've been battling like drought, then loads of rain. There was just no rain for so long and you can't dig Woburn in the summer. So people have been waiting, waiting, waiting. It didn't open during the school holidays, which is a shame. But then when it finally did open, the level of interest and excitement has been so high. And this is obviously why. This is just one massive upgrade to this epic legendary bike park. And I think it's one of the most iconic. We've never had a good pump track at Woburn. Not since I was about 14 anyway. And this is, just, you could drive 100 miles and not have a better pump track than this. It's so sick. Everything's rollable. So you could come here with not much skill and roll. But then on the outside of features like here, they've lipped up takeoffs. So you've got the option to turn that kind of double roller step up into a proper jump, which is just so good for progression. It's so conducive to riders riding in one place and getting better and better and better as time goes on. You could be an absolute novice on this pump track and just figure out how to get round. And six months later on this very pump track, be quite an advanced accomplished mountain bike rider. Obviously they've had quite a bit of rain. You can see what the rain does to woven sand. That's their literally rain marks. It does damage the sand, but I'm sure the, the trail crew here is big enough and dedicated enough. It's literally their job now. One of them's fully employed to maintain this place. So it's going to be epic and legendary. And for me, this is where I came from. This was the bike park that set me on the path to being a professional. It, I wouldn't be anything without this place and to see it in such glory with so much actually genuine hard work, not like touching up here and there, a, a year, an entire year of dedication. Look under here. It's going to make hopefully other young riders or teenagers or old riders follow a similar path to me and they could say that they've yeah done extremely well from a bike park that I used to work really hard at building and I definitely aided the progression of it for my own progression and now there's a whole separate team that just love it and clearly live and breathe it i can kind of recognize bits and some people who have watched this channel for a long time will recognize elements of what was here but for the first time in 20 years since i remember they've had diggers dumpers they've moved dirt on a level that i've never seen so not only have the jumps changed the layout of the land and the landscapes changed like you can't really do this stuff with shovels it would that's a month's digging, but you can imagine just with a three ton digger, you just pull that through, swing it, spin it, swing it. All the levels have changed. There's massive dirt jumps like this, and that before was just two rollers. So not only have they built jumps, they've moved jumps. But I'll start giving you an actual tour, because it's all very well me hammering on about my levels of excitement. I'm quite confused, actually. Right, Ben. Yeah. Everything this side of here is the same. It's almost the same. Yeah. Do you remember this line was sometimes, the main line was obviously epic for the jams and things like that. The main line was where you did all your tricks, where you went really high. There was a huge berm here that you absolutely flew oh. around. That's now a double berm look, Whoa. which I like. Yeah. So depending on how wide you land on that hip, you get an option. This is now a really like kind of low camber jump with shark fin edges. So where you had to kind of ride uphill here before, you don't, the so more you stay low, then the return line's the same. That was the bell feature where you ring the bell, the bathtub's there, but then everything else is just so new. <laughs> 
<laughs> like you could come here and have the best time ever now. Mini main, you remember this? Yeah. So you, have you ridden that and go when well, you return that way? No. Oh, did you not? No. The last time we were here, I rode mini main. Yeah. Rip round that berm, and then you roll back to the start. Yeah. Now you cannot roll back to the start. You can carry on all the way. Can you get into the pump track? <laughs> Do you remember before there was that thing? I can't remember where it went. It's Look, insane. Double roller. This is the coolest this line. Is a bridge. I know. This is yeah. Let's, wow. <laughs> this is an adventure line. So I'm, let's just walk through a line. So if people live miles away and think they might come one day, they can actually map it out. Mini man goes jump, jump, berm, round this roller, double roller. Follow me, Ben. The most compact berm known to this realm. Wow. G force has compressed that. Round there, double roller. Through this jump that was never jumped and now they've changed and has been jumped. This is this is part of mainline. Oh yeah. Yeah. So that's up after, after that huge, yeah, that M6 huge berm turn. Yeah. But keep going through the adventure line, so another berm, another double roller. So actually not many jumps, it's all rollable and super fun. This is all new, Whoa. that's new, this is new. This was a, this ground level was like six foot up across there. It's all been dropped, doing oh all of this. Oh my God. Skimmer jump, and you're into kind of like proper dirt jumps after a little fun adventure <laughs> pump session. Proper short, steep step up, which looks good, doesn't that it? That looks cool, yeah. That's superb. 180 berm tabletop and then somehow speed for proper jumps i guess you're going to really pump that section really nice dirt. it's like pump bmx isn't it yeah this is like a game really really short and steep jump and then more sick rollers but kind of like a dragon's back up and over i mean we're next to we're next to the lot that's mini main there on the return so oh, then you've yeah. gone that way you've done another 100 meters and then we hardly use any hill when i say we i mean they i've not done anything <laughs> digging elsewhere that's a big jump Jesus. The mi mini main now grows, whereas before it kind of stayed small. Again, it's so good for progression from using the hill wisely with loads of pumps and rollers, building speed. That's a good size jump. You could do some proper bangers on that. That's massive. Remember that pond was there? Yeah. So that berm's original. They really cleverly come at that from a different angle. But then this boob is new. Look how cool this looks. Rail there, cruise weightless under that tree, under a canopy. Oh, and then there's options. Yes. Oh, he keeps going. Yeah, there's options. And again, yeah. it's used no hill at all. Yeah. It's just coming down like a three lanes of a motorway, but they all run in different directions. Yeah. Options, left hip, straight jump, another sick jump. So there were jumps through here before, but they've been doubled in size. Even though you start in the same place up there and finish here, you've gone off on such a tangent, there must be way more speed available. Yeah. Another sick straight jump. I'm gutted I'm injured, but I'm happy I'm looking at it properly for a new set of eyes. And then another, I guess that's the last trick jump, which again is right next to three lanes of the same line. That is so insane. epic. And they've got drainage figured out. There's ponds, there's pipes, there's shacks. There's a lot of fence line. There's a bridge. Probably a kilometer of, let's go and check out the, uh, <laughs> the proper bit of civil engineering. <laughs> Cool, the thought of all this hard work has made me think about some of the tools that Squarespace have built in to make your life easier. Teamwork has built this place and Squarespace features the same tool where multiple people can all contribute to the same website from home and build and advance that website. You can use email campaigns to target your end consumers and your social media can be linked directly with the website itself. You can start a 28 day free trial using the link in my description below and when you're ready to launch, you can use a code down there to save 10% off your very first purchase, whatever that may be at Squarespace. Yeah, isn't this spectacular now? It's insane. Does it make you want to ride your dirt jump bike more? Yeah. Because you were never a fan of Woven because it was quite Too technical, big. wasn't it? Yeah. And big. Look that way. Oh my God, there's like that so much. In Lion King, which is like the big reveal. <laughs> you couldn't really do it much more with that, could you? So the end of main lines there, that's a left hip landing and on the other side's a right hip landing. So it's one of those split wedge ones. Oh, okay. Like they had at Audi 9s and things. Yeah. So kind of like what we built at the end of the playground. Oh yeah! The double dozer yeah. landing, but they've made it bigger. It doesn't look like it's been ridden much, but I've seen videos of it working. This is step up's new. <laughs> Wait, this is a step up? Yeah, brand new. I let them cut it up, so it's a trick jump. Looks like a berm. This was, when I was about 11, I'll send you a clip and you can put it in the video. This was the only trick jump at Woburn, and I used to crash my brains out and roll my ankles trying tricks I couldn't land. And it came down there, went up there, and they've built it again. It's a perfect place for it because of the running. Two lips, one big landing. If you want to kind of come and learn to do no handers, suicides, no footers, this is such a good feature just to lap because you could you fly out there at the end and then you roll all the way back across this epic bridge. 
Like they've really, really used triangle oh theory. God. Actually, it's made from it does stuff put, from the woods. It puts the dirt bridge to shame. Oh, I, would, I don't know, Ben. <sighs> yeah, it does. It's a different kind of bridge. We cross a bigger drop. Ours That's is true. more dangerous, probably because it's more sketchy. <laughs> now, this one, look at this. This is really impressive. God. Well done, boys. And the roll-in for this is just up there. Again, with a huge log retaining wall. That so is insane. There's a lot of... So they say many hands make light work. I think they must have had like 10 or 20 here on some days. What do you think of that? That is insane. What was there before? Uh, hasn't been anything for a long time. Where did where did the burn line burn step line, down? Burn line step down came across there. Oh. That's the burn line landing. So it did, yeah, that was part of burn. Yeah, they've moved so wow. much dirt. That is insane. They've really re-landscaped the entire woodland and quite unlike they've made it perfect and they've used the space so it's, well it's every inch like, of this huge it's like a big amphitheater isn't it and yeah. it's just been jumps rammed into every corner main lines change there's a whole nother jump at the start up here there's a little pump and track there for actual new beginners there's a technique area skills area up there for kind of like getting into pump track young kids and anyone i don't even know what they've done up on the free ride line maybe you, sh you and jamie could come ride that for the next video yeah i would try <laughs> Oh my god, there's an actual like full on picnic. picnic. How much effort would it be to make those seats? They're all oh. logs. Someone's put some hours on a chainsaw up here, haven't they? Not a bad place to let your collarbone heal. Look at this viewing area on the deck. Wow. Yeah, it's I'm actually really open. Impressed. On the way in, there's a QR code. You scan that, pay to ride. That ensures you and the people you crash into for the day. That's important. All the money goes back into the bike park, which is really important again. It allows these legends to keep continuing their dreams as where they ignite yours and my dreams. <laughs> it's true, isn't it? Yeah. It all goes full circle. Literally, this place goes full circle. Every line seems to roll back to where it started, which is, again, conducive for my level of low fitness, which is only depleting <laughs> on a daily basis. As is mine. Should we go and get enduro bikes? You could ride that new slope duo of mine if you want. I'd yeah. I'm actually willing. If you want to ride up there, we're not, I wouldn't touch a dirt jam, so we need someone to kind of give us the nod and say it's okay to ride. I can't believe how much stuff there is to ride here now, it's insane. <laughs> yeah. It's actually insane. Yeah, we used to come up and be really impressed, but then in an hour you'd have done what's new, you know? Now it's like a weekend's worth of biking here yeah. just to have hit all the lines. It's really impressive, I hope it works as well as it looks, but I've no doubt it does, they've spent a year on it. I'll leave it at that if you can get to Woe, but I really recommend you could and contribute to the, the yeah, the permit thing to help the bike park grow forever more because it's cost a lot with machines and time and I know how much it will cost like digging the playground's not been cheap so this imagine yeah legends <laughs>